Andrew Michael. This is interesting. I wonder if you can even uh, give a <laughs> cohesive answer because it sounds like a big answer. How do you decide if your patients need an Eastern or a Western approach to their illness? Well, I don't generally make it an either-or situation. People who have a well-designed disease, people who have a well-defined disease that has a specific treatment that's really indicated, I think should get that treatment. But even if you're getting a medical treatment that is known to treat a particular disease, you still have to think about your overall health, your wellness. And the thing about the, the Eastern perspective on health is that it's not disease oriented. It's oriented towards correcting imbalances. And sometimes the treatment that you're getting is actually gonna create some imbalances. So I, I always look at both of those things. Uh -huh. How well balanced is this person? Uh -huh. Diet, lifestyle, environment, mm -hmm. in terms of supporting overall health? Mm -hmm. And is there a disease that requires a kind of specific disease-focused treatment. Would you say that if we're uh, pretty well, those of us who aren't sick, thank God, mm -hmm. uh, there still is an Eastern approach that we should be looking at, which is the idea of vegetables and fish. Is that is that the Eastern approach? Uh, well, it's, that's my nutritional approach. Right. Eastern, I'm, there isn't one single right. Eastern medicine approach. The concept behind all of the Eastern approaches is the idea of establishing balance. Finding out um, what's out of balance in your body. And you can be very well and still be very imbalanced. You're just strong. You have a way of over, you know, of overcoming that. Right, right. And so I think especially if you're a well person, that approach that is based on let's create harmony and balance in uh -huh, your body right. to maintain your health, I think that's a, very Cause, important. Because I always think of Western medicine as too many antibiotics and too much dependency on on take a pill for this and uh, take a pill for that. And yeah, well, me, you know, Western medicine is disease oriented. Mm -hmm. It's like let's define the disease and then here's a medication that'll treat it. Right. And sometimes that can work really well. And antibiotics, you know, saved hundreds of millions right. of lives right. over the years. But there's always a price to pay whenever you take that right. kind of effect, that, that kind of, whenever you take that kind of treatment. So if a person is strong and well balanced, they'll bounce back from the side uh -huh. effects. Right, right, right. And also you don't always need an antibiotic because oh. you have a cold. No, I mean, actually, kind of the... antibiotics are inappropriately used. Uh -huh. And they're certainly inappropriately used for respiratory infections. Mm -hmm because it kind of is easier and people want it. But they don't, there have been so many studies that have been done that shown that antibiotics do not shorten the course of an acute respiratory infection, uh -huh. unless it's real pneumonia. Right. Even for bronchitis and acute sinusitis, uh -huh. they don't add anything. Doesn't do